Antirrhinum has a very specialized relationship with its pollinators. Uh, it's specialized for uh, attracting bee pollinators. Uh, a bumblebee comes in, and a bee is the only insect that's really got the weight to be able to land on the landing platform and then open up the flower so it can go down and gather the nectar and the pollen. There are mutations in Antirrhinum that uh, give a strong venation pattern to the flowers. It's thought that these stripes serve as a kind of honey guide that directs the bee towards the central part of the flower so it knows where to land and where the, where the nectar and pollen reward is. We were able to identify the gene that is responsible for conferring this uh, patterning of pigmentation and we were able to show that two signals are combined and where they intersected then you got the production of red pigment. For having identified the mechanism of patterning at the molecular level, we were very interested to understand whether uh, there was a significant advantage in having a patterning, a, a patterning of pigment production within the flower. And in order to study that, we decided to set up field experiments. We set up plots which compared full red with uh, lines that had the venation patterning. And then we uh, employed students on Nuffield uh, student ships to come and watch uh, where the bees went uh, in their visitations to the flowers. So we found that bees like the full red varieties much more than white or ivory or pale pink varieties. However, when you did the, we did the comparisons with full, between full red and the stripy venation patterning, then we found no significant difference. Perhaps planting either these um, brightly colored flowers or flowers with patterns in is going to be more advantageous in attracting bees and uh, so that would be a good tip for, for, uh, for gardeners who are thinking about what they want to grow.